Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam ala ashraf al-anbiya wal mursaleen Amma ba'du Then this hadith is Bayanu hukmi as-siwaki Inda al-qiyami Min al Right The bayan, the clarification Of the hukm, of the ruling Of the siwak Of using the miswak Or of As we learned yesterday A siwak can be the siwak itself, or it can be the action of using the siwak. The hukum of the siwak, or using the siwak, in the qiyam, when standing up, or when getting up, or when waking up, min and nom, from sleep. Right? When getting up, or standing up, waking up from sleep. He says, Al Hadith al Ishroon, An Hudayfata, Ibn al Yaman. Radiallahu anhu, and we see Hudayfa, right? Mamnum in a sarf. Hudayfa ibn al Yaman, radiallahu anhu, and ra- actually, radiallahu anhuma, because al Yaman, he was a Muslim as well, Sahabi. Qala, kana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam idha qama min al layl, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. إِذَا قَامَ When he stood من الليل From the night Meaning when he got up at night When he awoke at night كَانَ He used to Here he would or he used to يَشُوسُ يَشُوسُ فَاهُ بِالسِّوَاك And this word يَشُوسُ Is a word that is غريب It is a strange word It is a odd word It is not something used very often so I didn't find it in the Hans Ware dictionary or in any of the other dictionaries I had. However, there's a dictionary about hadith that it, it does appear in, but it's it's a dictionary of words which are gharib, strange words, right? Odd words. Show Yashu Su and we'll see Yashu Su Fa meaning fa here is his mouth. And we can see here if I delete some of these lines. Fam, as we said, is one of those asma al khamsa, like ab wa akh wa ham wa fam wa dhu. That when it becomes mensub, right? And this is when we drop our meme here. That's a whole nother story. But when we drop our meme, then we say fu or fa or fi, meaning mouth. So this means mouth. Yashusu fahu. And it's mensub here because it's the object of the yashus. Right? Yashusu fahu. He does this yashus to his mouth. Bisiwak. Bisiwak. With miswak. And he says, Yashusu fa a meaning yadluku. And we said, Dalaka yadluku means to massage. Yesterday we said that means to massage. Yadluku asnanahu. He massages his teeth. He rubs his teeth. Wayunakiha. From noon kaf ya. Right? Nakiya meaning to be pure, to be clean. Wayunakiha. From nakka yunakti. Right? Tanqi meaning to be clean and to be pure. So he cleans them. Yadluku asnanahu wa yunaqiha. So he massages his teeth, he rubs his teeth with miswak, and he cleans them. Right? That's the meaning of yashusu. So yashusu fahu, meaning he massages his teeth. So the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, إِذَا قَامَ مِنَ اللَّيْلِ يَشُوسُ فَاهُ بِالسِّوَاكِ that the Prophet ﷺ, whenever he would wake up, he would, he would basically brush his teeth and clean his mouth with the siwak. Right? We learned yesterday that he would brush his teeth. Right? Or he recommended us to brush our teeth. That I would have ordered them with every salat. Here we see. Even when waking up, right? Even when waking up, even if it's not connected to salat, right? So we'd be cleaning our mouth and brushing our teeth 
lots of times throughout the day. Are there any questions about this? He says, Min fawaidi wa ahkam al hadithi. Right? From the benefits and the rulings of the hadith. Mashru'iyatu at tasawwuki in the qiyami min al nawm. Wal mubalagatu fihi. Or mubalagati fihi. Mashru'iyatu. The legislation of tasawwuki. Of using the miswak. In the qiyami. Minanom when waking up from sleep wal maba wal mubalagati wal mubalagati fihi and do this mubalaga as we said yesterday mubalaga doesn't mean to go overboard but it means to do it in a very good way and we don't just brush our teeth sloppily like if we are we tell our kid go brush his teeth and ten seconds later he comes back and said I did no for two minutes right like this I don't mean you have to use a miswak for two minutes, but I'm giving you an example of mubalaga. To do it the proper way. To do it in the best way possible. Right? Thanian, inayatu shar'iyatul islamiyati bi nadhafati. Bi nadhafati. Right? The inaya, as we said, this comes from ayn, nun, ya, or out of maqsura. Inaya, meaning to be concerned with in the care. Right? Of the Sharia to the Islamia, of the Islamic legislation, be nadafa with cleanliness. This shows that we are supposed to, that our, our legislation is concerned with cleanliness. Right? That Islam tells us that we should be clean. We find that when we use the bathroom, we should use three tissues, or five, or seven, or whatever it takes until we're clean. And to use water is also good. And that we should make wudu. Right? And that we should make ghusl. And that we should use siwak. We should be brushing our teeth. This shows us the concern of Islam for cleanliness. You don't find this in the other religions. That they're talking about how to use the bathroom. How to brush the teeth. Right? How to eat. How to drink. You don't find this in the other religions. This is only in the Sharia of Islam. That you find all of these rulings. Eat with your right hand. Don't eat with your left hand. Use the bathroom with your left hand. Don't hold your dhaka with your right hand. So on and so forth. You only find this in the Sharia of Islam. Are any questions? Simple. See, this is an easy hadith. Can Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam idha qama min al-layl yashu sufahu bis siwak. It's one, two, three. Four. We we'll count Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as a word. Right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven words. We can easily memorize this hadith. Can a Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam either qama min al layl yashu sufahu bisiwak? Next. I'm trying to figure out the day. Uh, let me look on this computer here for the date. On October 9th, that's for us in Kuwait, right, Kuwait, India, right, and uh, October 8th for America, right, we will have a break until, until, uh, the 22nd for, you know, Kuwait and India, so on, and the 21st for America, right? Because there is a program coming up that we have twice a year that the Mashiach come from Saudi Arabia and it's an intensive program and we have classes immediately after Fajr for two or three hours and we have classes in the afternoon for five hours or six hours and so I have company coming from America and from UK and from Qatar 
and uh, I will have people in my house and as well we have classes immediately after Fajr so it's not possible for this uh, basically almost two weeks to have classes but before before this date here I'm going to prepare some type of written quiz or follow up or something I don't know what you want to call it it's not something you're going to be tested on but it's for yourself to know where you stand some type of written quiz or test based upon the hadith and the Quran and maybe we'll include something from the other sciences as well the fiqh and the aqidah I'll ask them if they can prepare something but it might be harder on them uh, just because of their schedules but if they don't I will try to include maybe you know a few questions on those other subjects but definitely from Quran and Hadith inshallah ta'ala we're going to do something and you can use these two weeks to answer those questions ta'ala. some of it might be in Arabic require you to write the answer in Arabic we're trying to understand in Arabic here so we're trying to get to that point make sense no. So I'll leave this up there and then you guys can take a screenshot of that if you need to or uh, take a picture of that, right? That this will be the break. But before that, I'll give you some type of quiz or something that you can do in the meantime. Abu Samaya, you got your hand raised? That was the 